This video will show you how the candlestick patterns we have looked at in parts 1 and 2 can be practically applied and used to make everyday trading decisions with live trades we have taken. If you haven't seen parts 1 and 2 of this candlestick series, then click here to go back and view those parts. Before I show the candlestick patterns in action, let us briefly talk about confluence. Confluence in trading means looking for other reasons to take a trade. For example, support and resistance, pivots, and indications from technical indicators. We always look for trading confluence, and you will see this along with the candle patterns in the trades I'm about to show you. We will look at how the candlestick patterns we have learnt about will help us make trading decisions. There are three types of trading decisions we need to make. When to enter a trade, when to continue in a trade, and when to exit a trade. We're going to look at how we made those trading decisions using pin bars, marabozo or similar momentum indicating candles, engulfing candles, and spinning tops. These can all provide us with indications as to what the market will do next. This is a short trade on the Dow Jones Industrial Average. At the top, we can see a pin bar has formed, indicating the market will reverse and continue downwards. We can also see on the same trade we have the confluence of a Fibonacci retracement and a daily pivot to indicate the market will reverse. The previous example showed us how we can use a pin bar to enter a trade. This example shows us how we can use a pin bar to exit a trade. We can see the pin bar candle forming and we also have the confluence of the 5800 number where we anticipate some resistance. This gives us an indication that we should take some profit at this level as the market may reverse against us. Here on the DAX we can see a bearish engulfing candle which also has broken a support level which gives us an indication that we can go short and remain short and aim for a profit target lower down. The indication turned out to be a good one and the market comes down and hits our profit target down at 9525. As I mentioned earlier true marabozu candles are quite hard to find they more often than not have little wicks or tails either side of the body. Here we can see a very strong momentum candle taking us through a key resistance level and allowing us to get long on a breakout trade. We then see a bearish engulfing candle which encourages us to bring our stop to break even before once again seeing a strong momentum candle take us to new highs. This is an example of a bullish engulfing candle and how different candle formations can appear on different time frames. Here we have a one minute chart where every candle is written after every one minute and here we have a five minute chart where every candle is written after five minutes. On the one minute candle we can see a bullish engulfing candle which is indicating the market will want to go back up. On the five minute time frame we can also see a pin bar is forming also indicating the market is going to go back up. Moving on slightly we can see the next five minute candle is a bullish engulfing candle. Sometimes shorter term time frame candles will indicate what longer term ones will do next. In this trade, this is where we use a spinning top candle combined with a support level to decide to take profit. We can see the buyers and sellers both been active during the candle, but eventually the price closes near where it opened, indicating indecision for that time period. Thank you for watching. Do you want to see some more live trades we took in our trading room? Click here to watch that video. To join our live trade room for free, where you'll watch our professional traders take profitable trades, click here. Our next free trading strategy training webinar will be coming up soon, so make sure you sign up by clicking here. Subscribe to our channel to get access to our free weekly trade planning session by clicking here.